What up, everybody? It is that time again. 2017 Bowman Hobby. Full case. P. White Tizzle. Let's do it. Uh, Chris Fitz. I want to say Wednesday, dude. Let me uh, pull up the list here for you so you guys can see. I believe our shipping days are Wednesdays and probably Monday, Monday and Friday. I think are our shipping days, so probably tomorrow. This it might go out tomorrow, Chris Fitz. Um, just depends on when their sorters are gonna get to it. So there it is. There's everything. Let me grab the case. Oh, I was ready. Here it is. 2017 Bowman Hobby. Full case. Let's do it. I got you, Chris Fitz. I'll leave a note. I'll let him know that I need all this out for tomorrow. Now, I usually would like just flip it or whatever, but I want to be careful with this. Open up packs of this thing. Where's my? Here we go. All right, time to open up boxes here. This thing is kind of in the way. You know, I, for, I I almost forgot what I was getting myself into here. I probably should have waited to do this break tomorrow. But fuck it. People have been waiting for this hobby. Sorry, camera. Here to the side, so I have some space to work with. Now, for everybody hanging out, if you're brand new to the room and you want a $10 gift code, save 10 bucks off your first purchase, guess what? We do that, baby. Just let me know and I'll hook you up with that gift code. All right, running out of space here. You know, this is what people were looking forward to, to the Bowman breaks with the new uh, camera angle. You know, the, the new POV.
right? Brandon Cooks to 99 camera angle for real, rah rah. Luckily for us, we don't do that around here, and we never will. What up, rah rah? How you doing, bro? I bet you didn't expect to see me here this late on a Sunday, buddy. I mean, you know, Sundays are usually, you know, when we are dark. But something told me, you know what, Jesse, get off your ass and go to work. Yeah, I just like to show the chat me on. But uh, guess what? I can always make you guys a little happier. How is that for the chat size? Or maybe right here? How's that? Shrink them both. That's one thing she did not. She I've never heard her say, but you know, I guess there's a first time for everything. Boom. Boom. How's that looking for you guys? Better? I like to leave the chat up though, uh, meet on. Because the, the chat combines all of Twitch, YouTube, and Breakers. So uh, I do like to have that up, man. I could take the teams away. Brandon Cooks to 99. You're a funny guy, Rara. If nothing else, funny guy. How are you guys uh, feeling on the size of the chat and the uh, teams there? Is that all right? You guys cool with that? Should I get rid of the chat completely? Let me know. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right, me on. That sounds about right. Can't discriminate on Twitch and YouTube even though they get that nasty lag. You know, for all two of them. You know, the one on YouTube and the one on Twitch. We can't discriminate, baby. We cannot discriminate, baby. But uh, how's, the ch how how's the size of the chat and the, the teams now? Is that better? Is that better for y'all? Finally done opening up all the boxes. So that's uh, one thing out the way. Don't hate, appreciate, says uh, Chris Fitz. Let me uh, see if I can show it all off here to you guys. Get up, get, 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 just, just get, just get. Just trying to get organized somewhat here. Not more, you know what? This I don't need right now. So I can give myself more space. Boom. Alrighty. Slide that over. Slide this up. Boom. There, put this one here. I'm gonna slide this. Ah, uh, you know, so many packs. So many room for activities. I mean, look at look at all this. I got packs on top of packs on top of packs. All right, cool. Enough of the. Uh, you know, behind the scenes look. I'm just going to open up stuff now. I'm just going to open up all this stuff. Uh, join me in like another 20 minutes. <laughs> That's what it's going to take to open up all this stuff here, man. So many cards. But we love the Bowman, don't we? We do love the Bowman.
I'm gonna have to talk to CBJ. Uh, probably gonna need another camera here or something. Just so you guys uh, don't think we're pulling a Brandon Cooks to 99 here. Which you guys know we have never done and we never will. But that's funny as hell, that guy, bro. Like, bro, like, for real, dude. Like. And the way he did it, it wasn't, it was not slick at all. Just stacks upon stacks upon stacks of cards. Go grab a popcorn, go make some coffee, um, you could probably put something in the potluck, I don't know man, but I'm going to be here for a while, open it, just, just opening packs, which is the hard part here of the Bowman, when we do these cases, there's so many packs to go through. Now guys, uh, I hit an Aaron Judge redemption out of a hobby box earlier. Does anybody know, does he have like the actual physical cards autographed or is it just strictly redemption for him? I'm going to move the rest of these stacks here. This can go here. And then... Yeah, ooh, that's a decent angle. I'll keep that angle up for a little bit here while I move some of this stuff around. Just straight, just straight cards, man. Dang. So many packs. So many questions. What's in here? Which will all be answered here momentarily. And by momentarily, uh, I want to say like in 15 minutes. Because just so much to go through. All right, how's that angle? I'll keep that angle. While I keep opening up packs. Redemption. Oh, the Scouts Top 100 have uh, the autos here. I think I hit maybe one of those before. 
I want to say it was a Carson Fulmer that I hit. But uh, I didn't know that the Judge Man had all that in here. up here so guys you guys are all tucked into bed you know got a nice uh, nice glass of warm milk got some cookies how was your weekend how was everybody's weekend anybody do anything eventful bachelor party strip club or anybody going a bender here? I mean, hey, what's going, what's, what's going on? I'm just trying to generate some kind of conversation for you guys because uh, I just got packs of pound, packs of pound, packs of pound, packs to open. There's got to be like, what, over 1,400 cards in a case of, of this? You're folding clothes while you're opening packs. See, there you go. Some productivity going on. Which reminds me, I got uh, I got to do laundry when I get home.
You guys folded a certain way in the Navy? I have, uh, dude, I've folded my clothes. I've been doing my own laundry since I was, I'm going to say, I'm 27 now. For over 15 years, I've been doing my own laundry. And, man, at this point, like, I don't have a set way to fold my clothes. I just fold it, like, whatever. And I'll fold it different, different ways. But, uh, I don't have a wife, so... Don't really have to deal with that nagging. But I can only imagine if I do ever get married, that uh, that'll probably annoy her to some extent. Are you allowed to tease her back, Reds56? Don't get married, says Ra Ra. Ra Ra, I think we've had this conversation many times before. I would get married just to get divorced. You'll be my Huckleberry Pedro. There you go, James Bodine. I'll take it. That's what I'm trying to do, Rob Rob. That's exactly the point. You you finally you finally figured out my uh, coup de gras. My master plan. She fan folds her clothes? What the hell is that? I do the good old, good old, uh, I do like sleeve to sleeve. Oh, and then I fold it twice over to make a nice rectangular shape so that I can fit as many clothes as possible. That's exactly what you do, James Bodine? Winner. And then I used to do the other one where you grab both, like you grab a shirt and then you, you, you know, you, you put the sleeves in the middle and then you fold it over, whatever. So it's like how it looks in the stores and all that shit. Yeah, fuck that. I'm a guy too, James Bodine, last I checked. Um... Yeah, still a guy. So, yeah, same deal here. I just do the whole sleeve to sleeve, and then I fold it over twice to make a nice rectangular shape. And then basketball shorts, which I have a crap ton of. I, you know, love my basketball shorts. Those, I'll fold it, you know, I'll fold hip to hip, and then I'll do it once over. So, that'll be more of like a square shape so I'll fold it once horizontally and then vertically boom shorts done could I work in a haberdashery I probably could uh, first things first I gotta google what that is but uh, I'm sure I could do listen I don't want to sound like an asshole but I can do anything I put my mind to and that goes to uh that goes for all of us. Now, I'm sure I could work in a haberdashery. But the question is, will I want to? That, I don't know. Because I don't know what a haberdashery is. That I, I don't like the sound of that. Sounds sketchy. It sounds sketchy. It's a men's store. They, show, they sell shorts. Shirts. What kind of shirts? Like Hawaiian shirts? Also, they sell all types of uh, menswear, from what uh, I can uh, deduce. Great word, by the way, deduce. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. She wants to take a pic of how you fold clothes and put it on Facebook. Dude, do it. Do it. And then I bet all your friends are going to be like, yeah, that's the way to do it. Or you could just, you know, turn that into an epic down the, you know, downward spiral of, of just, you know, an argument. I don't know. That, that, that could potentially start an argument. I don't know.
How long you guys been married, Revs? If you don't, if you don't mind me asking. I I am you know I am a bit of a softy. I'm a big old teddy bear. I do uh, I do like to hear you know romantic stories. So whenever I see like old couples together, like it, it makes my heart flutter, man. You know, it's it's adorable. It's cute as hell. You know, I get the the old butterflies in the stomach. Like, oh man, maybe one day that could be me, me with my old lady. But uh, knocking down the hooas is gonna have to do for now. Man, I want to say it's been, what, at least half an hour now? Ra Ra, that's the goal. I mean, I don't really want to buy them. You know what I would like to do? I would like to get into the pimping game. Get into the pimping game. There you go, James Bo. See? Now we... See? James Bo Dean, did we just become best friends? That's one thing that I would like to get into. Get into the pimping game. Got to buy him. Psych. I don't got to buy him. I just I just got to find, you know, I got to find them. First of all, you know, ones that are dumb enough to let me manipulate them. And then from there, I just want, I need to start off with three. Three good, three good professionals uh, to build my stable. And then we'll go from there. No, Ra Ra, it'll be a rip house. The Who Was will be doing all the breaking. That is also true, James Bo. This is also true. I mean, look, truth be told, I live in Miami. I could just go to 90 miles south to Cuba and uh, from Key West. 90 miles south from Key West, to be exact. And uh, I'm pretty sure I could find a nice, stable. To uh, add to the team right there. A couple first round draft picks. You know. A few sleepers in there. I'm sure there's a couple good prospects. You know what I'm saying. You know what I think. I think I'm going to be that dude. Who's like. In his. You know. 40, 50 years old. Still dating. 20 year old chicks. In 5K claiming races, what is that? Listen, if they could, if they could run a 5K with the red pumps on, those are keepers. That sounds like experience talking, Ra Ra. Exactly, that's the plan, Ra Ra. That's the plan. I'm trying to get filthy rich, baby. And look, I'm not like one of these disillusioned guys like, man, I want them all. Nah, I just want like I just want like three. Three little cutie patooties that I could, you know, have my way with. Oh, snap, James Bow. That's future that's some futuristic pimping right there. I need to put that down in my palm pilot. Thailand is the yes, bra rah, yes. The only issue with going to Thailand is that uh, there's a 50% chance that uh, that it'll be a, a boy instead of a lady. I actually, I want to go to Japan. That's where I really want to go to. You know, ho you know, all all this uh, ladies of the night talk aside, I really just want to go to Japan.
They're gonna see this brown skin and be like, "Ooh, look at that guy! I need him in my life." And little do they know is I'm on the prowl to build up the team. Chicks in Japan are prudes. You know, I've heard that they are. Oh, I'll get lost a little, a little lost in translation, James Bo. Uh, but uh, I know a little Japanese, so I, I, I'll be all right. I think I can. I think I can. Uh, you know, I think I do do okay in Japan. Do some major damage. But as far as them being prudes, like, dude, I'll tell you a story. I had a friend of mine who uh, she was in the navy. And uh, she would tell me these stories all the time because she's a bit of an alcoholic, God bless her soul. And she would pass out at these bars in Japan when she used to be stationed there. And uh, I think it was in Okinawa, something like that, somewhere in Japan. But, uh, dude, she'd get drunk, pass out at bars or whatever. And the dudes there, super, well, people in general are just super respectful there. She would, like, pass out in the bar, fall asleep for a few hours, and nobody... Nobody would, uh, you know, nobody would bother her, right? So, she would do this, like, on a nightly basis. Anytime her and, you know, and her Navy friends would go out to drink, they would get completely hammered, completely shit-faced. And uh, she would always, like, pass out at the bars. But she told me this one time, she did not pass out. She decided to, you know, whatever, let me just enjoy the ambiance. And she noticed how, like, all the Japanese chicks would be, like, swooning over the gaijin. Gaijin are, you know, uh, basically strangers, you know, foreigners. I would be a foreigner in Japan. So, basically, if you are a foreigner, if you're white, black, brown, whatever, if you're anything but Japanese, you get all the play in Japan, according to her anyway. She would tell me stories of how she like walked in and into into some three ways. Just oh, I, I I gotta go to Japan. That's all I gotta say. Uh, hi mom. This is one case of Bowman Hobby. One case of Bowman Hobby. It's just so many so many cards to go through. So many packs. Dude, I would be, I would be Godzilla out there, man. I've been at it all day, mom. I've been at it all day, bro. Uh, unless I see anything else going in the store, this might be the last break for me for tonight. I'll be live again tomorrow. Aaron Judge is a giant by human standards. All right, that guy's what six foot eight, damn near three hundred pounds, straight muscle. Like that's not even like, it's not even cool. It's not even cool to be that big. And he's swinging a bat. You, it, it's kind of illegal. It's kind of illegal right now. That guy's just a freak of nature. By the way, yeah, he, he kind of looks like a Neanderthal, which is probably why he's that big. But uh, what I was going to ask is, if he's on the PEDs, how would that affect the, uh, the way people look at him? I mean, look, to be honest, guys, a guy that big got to be on the juice, right? You know, I, I hate to say this, but Andrew Luck, Andrew Luck uh, looks a little inbred. Yankee fan coming to my man's defense. He is not on the juice. I'm just saying, man, you're that big. You got to be on some kind of sauce, man. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just talking some shit, Yankee fan. You know, I'm getting, I'm, I'm kind of getting like a little delirious opening up all these packs right here. He's big boned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what my mama used to say about your boy. 
and then it just turns out that I got a big bone. <laughs> hey yo! All right, almost done opening up all these packs. Who has a book club? Aaron Judge has a book club. Oh, Andrew Luck has a book club. Yeah, I can see that. Although, when, like, honestly, man, looking at him, he just, he just doesn't look like he's all the way there. Mentally. You know? Like, a little, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't want to say anything hurtful. Because, uh, I will say something hurtful. Although, he could be a quarterback for my team any day. He could be as weird as he wants. You have a book club? Oh, that's 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 cool. I mean, books got to be read, right? Doing something for society. That's right. You're giving us all, you know, awesome ladies of the night, James Bow. You have them running the 5K, and they could also tell me the uh, square root of my apartment. Ah, gotcha, James Bo. Guys, uh, don't look now, but I'm almost done opening up all these packs. Nothing wrong with a book club. Absolutely nothing wrong with a book club. Some of the most gorgeous women I've ever, you know, met in my life and have gotten, you know, the privilege to hook up with are very intelligent, book warmy women. I, uh, I just find a way to ruin it. Mmm. I love reading pictures. That's my favorite things to read, to be honest with you. Most that's that's actually how I do most of my reading. Uh, you know, I'll watch a show or something, and uh, I'll throw on the closed captions on there, and boom, reading, baby. Whoever invented the closed caption, shout outs to that person, male, female, whatever. Shout outs to you. You the real MVP. Oh, look at that. Uh, what's up, GT Ball? This is a full case of 2017 Bowman Hobby. It is one full case of Bowman Hobby. It is, uh, what is it, 28 boxes in a case of this? I'm not even sure at this point. I've just been opening box after box after box after box. Pack after pack after pack. Well, which one is it, guys? Uh, for the Red Sox GT ball, it was about 180 GT ball.
Almost time! Alright, James Bow. Appreciate you hanging out, my man. And as always, the video will be uploaded at the uh, end of the night. Almost done opening all this up. Well, like I said, GT Ball, the uh, the Red Sox and Hobby were uh, about 180. I want to say the Yankees were like 200, 220. But yeah, I'm doing a hobby case, which has uh, 12 boxes, according to my peeps. It's just, as you can see, an insane amount of cards. We also have Inception Baseball, uh, GT Ball. We have Inception Baseball, which has been very, very nice. It's been selling like hotcakes here. Oh, all good, GT Ball. All good. No worries, dude. Don't worry. I'm a noob at this as well. I've been breaking for about six months now, dude. So trust me, man. No worries here, dude. We got a pretty, pretty chill room here. Everybody here is uh, usually very nice. Everyone is uh, well-educated. Treats everyone with respect. So, no worries, dude. Rara does give pretty decent uh, life advice. And Davis, Davis isn't too bad of a dude. He puts up a front, but he's, he's not bad. Yeah, GT, I mean, GT Ball, sometimes we take curveballs in here, you know? Sometimes there's a slider. Sometimes it's a knuckleball. Sometimes it's a changeup. But, uh, yeah, we, we talk of a variety of things here. I personally try to keep it as PG as possible, but, hey, you know. Oh, well, sometimes things like that happen where I just fly off the handle. By the way, GT Ball, um, if no one has told you, let me be the first to. You can save 10 bucks off your first purchase. And this goes to all my new people here hanging out. New Guy Promo dictates that you save $10 off of your first purchase. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Almost done opening packs up, bitch. Alright. Sounds good, GT Ball. Check, uh, check us out. RipCityCards.com. Lots of goodness. All right, guys. Thank you very much. That was the break. Uh, we'll get that out to you. Psych. It's time to really see what's in here. All right. Hey. That's me. You don't care. All right. I think that'll do. Alright. Here we go. Just gonna run through this thing, of course. I miss those old school Marlins uniforms, man.
right, no autos out of there. Duke Snyder refractor right there. Let's get some big hits, babe. I want to see some orange autos in this thing. Dansby Swanson refractor. Nolan Jones for the Indians to four ninety nine right there. This is all paper. Boop 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 boop. All right, these are all the chromies for my homies. The paper base we all know and love. Benintendi refractor in there. Aaron Judge refractor in there. Sandy Alcantara for the Cardinals to four ninety nine right there. just yet uh, everything except the paper base uh, 147 guns here we go our first uh, little hit right here number to 50 for the Pittsburgh Pirates Tyler Glass now check that out for the Pirates number to 50 Tyler Glass now boom not an auto, but a, a little color there. North McGuire refractor in there. Man, I want to see one of those old school autos. That'll be sick as hell. Like a Ken Griffey Jr. auto? Oh, man. That would be so sick. I don't even know if he has autos in this, but a boy can dream. All oh, this good old, good old paper base. There's Bryant Refractor in there. Tristan McKenzie, Indians Blue. Chromie. Here we go. Our first auto. Kevin Maitan of the Braves. Maitan getting a hit there for the Braves. Our first auto. Should be seeing 11 Mo. This is paper, chromes.
Chrome Paper Chromes. See some color up out of here. See a little blue. Who is it? Jorge Bonifacio for the Royals. Blue right there. Here's our second auto for the Phillies, El Nieri Garcia. Sleep this thing up here. Boom. bit better right there Omar Reyes of the Orioles purple. That's uh, to one two fifty. I'm sorry. Cruz. No monsters yet, Mom. No monsters yet. Still, they're lurking in there. paper this is all chrome stuff which one is that one meat on Aaron Judge refractor there always get me the Kevin Ma Maitan for the Braves Really? That's what he's going for? Nah, he's uh, not a refractor. It's not numbered. Dude, me, do you... I, I completely understand what you're saying, but uh, man, baseball is just so much goes into baseball, dude. Not making any excuses. I'm getting there. I'm learning about it, you know? But, dude, there's so much goes into it, especially, like, prospecting. Don't even get me started. Ooh, what's that red shiny? Luis Gohara of the Braves with a red shininess on there. What's that? It's not numbered or anything. I think that's that uh, 70th anniversary. What is the? There's like a cool, like, it's like a grid kind of, and it's like, I don't know. Oh, it is numbered. Numbered to five. Number to five. Very nice. Very nice. We can go ahead and throw the top load on there. Davis, you were only like two minutes late to talk shit. All right, let's keep it going. Yeah, I've never hit that. I've never hit that, so. That is awesome. It would have been nice to get an auto. Do they have autos in that? Do-do-do-do-do-do.
Oh, nice. Tyler O'Neill for the Mariners here. That's a uh, number to 25, I believe, because it's that orange. Yes, sir. Number to 25. Boop. And let me go ahead and do that uh, meet on. Since he wants to yell and get all brolic with the all caps. There you go. Well, I know the obvious ones meet on, like, you know, Benintendi, Dansby Swanson, etc., etc. Aaron Judge, Glaber Torres. You know, I'm familiar with some of them. Nick Senzel, Carson Fulmer. What is, oh, these are all chromes. Cool beans. Is he really? Nice. See, I didn't know all that. See, this is why uh, I love talking to you guys. I always learn something. Always learn something. No White Sox or Angels just yet. Here we go. Dylan sees Orange. Check that out for the Cubbies. That's uh, number to 25. Hit three, uh, two oranges and a gold so far. No autos, though. TJ Frito for the Reds. That's that 70th anniversary goodness right there. Boom. Yeah, J Jim. Supposed to be off today, but I, you know, something told me. Go to the office. And here I am, 12 hours later. Here we go for the Red Sox. Josh Okimi. For the Red Sox, number to 499. Very nice. Very, very nice. Alrighty. It's chrome. This is paper. Chrome. Chrome. Boop. Put this paper base over here. This is all chrome. Put this up. How you doing, Jim? How is uh your weekend going, my man? You got some chromies here. Just paper. Up. Upside down, but that's all right. Boom. King Griffey refractor in there. We are due for some autos and some color. Come on. That is a chrome.
Glad to hear it, Jim. Glad to hear that. You know, the weekend's only over if you want it to be. You know, I'm I'm in constant weekend mode, so. But that's just me. Come on, but the autos. Takahiro Norimoto from the uh, World Baseball Classic right there. That's the 250. Put this here. Oop, I see it orange. Oop, there it is. It was stuck. I almost missed it. Yu Ching Chang to 499 for the Indians. There it is. Bam. Oop, it's an orange. Jack Flaherty of the Cardinals of St. Louis. Boom. Number to 25, of course. Let me get a sleeve for this thing. Very nice. Just need some autos for those now. Some color autos would be wonderful. Tomoyuki Sugano to 250. Paper. It's a little blue in here. Matt Strom for the Royals to to one fifty. Nice. A little paper base action there to one fifty. Come on now. Need some mottos. Looking for a monster. Here we go. We got one. Not sure if it's a monster though. I ain't even gonna lie. But it is an autograph on card, of course. Hunter Renfro. San Diego Padres hit right there. Check that out. Nice. Two out. Uh, one fifty. Number to 150. Thank you, Mom. Educating your boy. No color autos just yet, Davis. No color autos just yet. Appreciate that, Mom. Appreciate that. See, baseball, not too good. Football and basketball, all day, every day. But I am learning the baseball. It is a beautiful sport. Lots to learn. Very awesome. Willie Adams for the Rays. Orange sauce. That means it's to 25. Let's see what else we got.
Boom, boom. Who hit the Moncada to 25? Oh, you saw that all up on the Instagram, didn't you? Uh, I believe that was a personal box, but I don't remember to whom it went. It was from Inception. Yes, sir. The Moncada was from Inception. Braden's daddy hit that. It was a nice one, Cabral. It was a nice one, man. Yeah, he bought a box, Cabral. Bought a few, actually. up here boom let me slide this over so I have more room for activities these can go I'll keep them here on the side so y'all can see them done and done Cabral you know, you know I can't do that man all right. Alrighty. Ooh, here we go. Our first color auto for the Tigers. Kyle Funkhauser. Number to 25. That's true. I also hit a Ben and in a personal form right there. Top load this orange sauce right there. Boom. Get out the way. You're in my way. All right. Let's continue. So we had our first color auto right there. Ronald Guzman of the Rangers, red right there. How you doing, Cabral? Mark Zuganis for the Cubs. A little blue sauce right there. Any Rizzo refractor in there? Still haven't hit the case hit, right, fellas? What's a case hit in this thing? What were you doing, Cabral? That sounds like fun. On a baseball field for nine hours straight? Oh, there's no case hit in this thing? Gotcha, Davis. You know, because usually, you know, people will be like, oh, that's the case hit, bro. That's it. Case dead. Oh, that's awesome, Cabral. No case hit in Bowman. Gotcha, boys. Right, Mom. But, you know, sometimes there'll be like, you know, oh, there's only one of these per case. So people will be like, oh, that's the only one in the case. That's the case hit right there. And it wouldn't even be like that big a card. But since it's only one per case, people are like, oh, that's the case hit. Made it to the championship game, but lost. Man. Well, Cabral, uh, what can I say? Uh, I hope they didn't give him like a participate, uh, one of those participation medals. Because uh, that's what's wrong with this country. 
If you win, you win. If you lose, you lose. But he came in second place, so that's not too bad. Francis Martez. Sounded like a Buffalo Bill. Oh, shots fired. See a little orange here. Yes, sir. Dean Kane, sir. For the Indians, Juan Hillman. Check that out. Check that out. That's what I'm talking about, Cabral. Don't give me no dang participation medal. I didn't win nothing, so don't give me nothing. That's what's wrong with this country. Kids getting participation medals and... Oh, you tried your best. That's what's... Im no. You win or you lose. That's life. All right, let's keep it going. Here we go. Another auto for the Astros this time, Joe Musgrove. Joe Musgrove. I do mean business. I do mean business. It's just frustrating, man. Like... When people tell me about my generation, like, oh, your generation's what's wrong with this with the with, with this country. You know, you guys want you know, you guys want everything handed to you. You don't want to work for anything. I'm like, bullshit, man. I've worked for everything I've gotten in my life, dude. Like nothing has ever been handed out to me. Including participation medals. I I throw those things away. Yeah, that's true. I think they went to four straight Super Bowls at that. It's not just that they went to four Super Bowls. They went to four straight Super Bowls. And they didn't win a single time. They had some really good teams, too. It's a shame. But uh, what are you going to do? The lovable losers that are the Bills. Straight paper. More paper. Speaking of. Man, uh, a little deficient with the autos right now. They need to come around. Bueller. Bueller. All right. Let's see what else is up in here. Chrome, paper, chrome. Of course, mom. Dolphins all day. Fins up, baby. Fins up. I love my dolphins. For better or for worse. And it's usually for worse. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Another little color right here. Another Hunter Renfro for the San Diego Padres. 
Did he really? He went to high school with you? Dude, that's awesome. Hunter Renfro for the Padres, number to 150, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I'm sorry, 125. Number to 125. Yeah, that kid, that guy's a beast, man. That guy's a beast. Oh, gotcha. AJ nothing but a number, baby. All right, so these are chromes. I think they're all chromes. Yep. This is paper. Yeah, man, that kid's a beast, man. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Ricky Williams, except not afraid of the contact. Wasn't that special in high school? Man, but he's... You know what I like about him, though? What I like about Jay Ajayi is that uh, he gets better as the game goes on. You know, as the linemen get a little bit more tired, he gets a little bit more stronger, a little bit more faster. That's why I like him. Oh, check that out. Jason Grome for the Red Sox. Jason or Groom for the Red Sox. Boom. Marion Barber, man, I haven't heard that name in a minute. You know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of like a faster Jamal Lewis. I just hope he doesn't do a Jamal Lewis and only ball out for like one season. Come on. A Bregman would be nice. A Bregman auto would be nice. I need to see an, a monster. Man, these stacks are getting a little high. I like I like Indomitian Sue. I like him. He had a, whoa. Here we go. Another Padres hit. This time it's Luis Almanzar for the San Diego Padres. I believe that's numbered to 150. Very nice. I like him. Uh, and Dominican Sue. Yeah, Padres are doing work in this case right now. Padres doing work. I think that's like three autos they have so far. I'm not sure, but as always, I will do the run back at the end. Reese Hoskins for the Phillies to 250. Michael Kopech for the White Sox. Paper base to 250. Goes there. These are all paper. Almost done here. Gansby Swanson refractor in there. Mark Trumbo for the Orioles to 250. I don't know what the auto count is right now, but it is a total of 12 autos in a case of this hobby.
Paul Quintrill for the Padres. Blue sauce right there. We are at 10, says Meat On. So these last two got to be animals. Franklin Barreto for the A's red. Eric Jenkins with that uh, blue sauce right here for the Rangers. Go ahead and sleeve this thing up. These bad boys. I thought these were numbered. I don't see any number on the back. They must be a short print or some kind of deal. These are papers. Here we go. A little gold sauce. Yeti Air. Alvarez for the Dodgers. That's a number to 50. Yes, sir. Boom. Boom. That's chrome. These are all paper, chrome. Alright, we got about two big old stacks left to go here. Alright, got that a little organized. These are all paper, chromes, paper. Nope, I see a little orange back there. David Fletcher, blue for the Angels. here to the side. Huh, that guy's name is Morejon. <laughs> Joey Votto. Orange. For the Reds. The paper base orange right there. Moncada action. Here, there's that.
Uh, Inception 6 has not broken yet, Greg. Uh, there's still spots available for that. No autos or colors out of that. Come on, we're due for some goodness here. I think I see a little yellow in there. Here we go. Here's an auto for the Blue Jays. Francisco Rios. That's number to four ninety nine. Boom. This is paper. Nearing the end here, guys. We've got about uh, one big old stack left here. Let's see if we can't pull us some nasty. No autos out of there. Come on. Uh, Andrew, I do owe you 50 in break credit. You uh, you did win 50 in break credit, my dude. Drew Jackson, purple for the Mariners. I have been on all day, Michael Shaw, since about 11. So almost 12 hours here. Matt Dice. For the Angels purple. I'll get you that gift code here after I'm done with this break, dude. Chrome papers. Final, I'm going through the last stack here. Dylan sees Cubs blue. Thank you, Andrew. That's, yeah, man. Trying to see it. So that uh, as I open up the packs, you guys can see the cards. I will. I will be on tomorrow, Michael Shaw. You know we're usually off Sundays and Mondays, but you know I made an executive decision and I said, you know what, I'll go live Sunday and Monday. Why not? Robinson Cano for the Mariners. That is to twenty-five. Because the inception has been so hot, I figured, hey, let me uh, let me go on. So these are chrome papers here. So yeah, Michael Shaw, I will be on tomorrow. Uh, I think I'll do a regular our regular schedule just six to close you know because then I gotta come in Tuesday morning you 
You know, tomorrow, Monday, back to the grind. Back to the old 905s. So I figure, you know, people get off of work at 5, eat dinner, hang out with the family a little bit. You know, so around 6 o'clock, people should be getting home. You know, and I'll be live at that time. Fulfilling all your breaking needs. So, still waiting on a monster here. Josh Morgan, Rangers, Purple. I believe we have one more auto to go. In this thing. Boom. That's chrome. Chrome. All right, nearing the end here, nearing the end. Yeah, the Braves go pretty quick, Michael Shaw. Braves go pretty quick. You want to get the Braves in Inception, Michael Shaw? Is uh, is that what I'm uh, reading here? Because I can throw another PYT into the store uh, once I'm done here. And you can uh, go ahead and uh, test your refresh and computer skills and try to snatch up the Braves in Inception number 7 if you would like to have a go at that. So we have Chris Sale here for the Red Sox purple. That's all chrome. This is all paper. Oh, Bates will definitely go through five cases of it, no problem. I mean, me myself, today, I went through about two cases of Inception. I did a PYT, the number five, and then a whole bunch of uh, personals. All right, Michael Shaw. I'll put a. Uh, I'll put up in session number seven tomorrow. You know, send the emails out so everybody gets that alert at the same time. Uh, I will do, Michael Shaw. Will do. Big hits in PYT five. Uh, I can't think of anything right now because I'm I'm in so f I'm full on Bowman mode. Nick Nader for the Mariners. A little blue shimmer there. I could also do that, Michael Shaw. We shall see. These are all. Here's our final auto. Wilmer Becerra for the Mets with an auto. Thank you, Chris Fitz, for that uh for updating my boy. Yeah, the videos aren't online, but they will be here uh once I go dark. These are chromes. Man, there are some weird noises in this office. I don't and I don't mean the creaking of the desk. There's just some like really weird noises. Yeah, that case was pretty nice. I hit uh, 
Trevor Story 101, Trey Turner to 25, and uh, some other good stuff in there. I hit an Aaron Judge earlier in a hobby. Redemption style. So it's been a pretty decent breaking day. All right, so that was the break, y'all. Uh, let's do a run back here, the autos. So we have Wilmer Bricera, Mets, Francisco Rios to 499 Blue Jays, Luis Almanzar for the uh, San Diego Padres. That's to 150. Jason Groom, Red Sox, Joe Musgrove, Tigers, Hunter Renfro for the San Diego Padres to 150. Yu Ching Chang to 499 for the Indians. Jo Josh Okimi for the Red Sox also to 499. Elneri Garcia. Kevin Maitan for the Braves. Kyle Funkhauser to 25 for the Tigers. And Hunter Renfro of the Padres to 125. So that's what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 autos. Guys, that was the break. 2017 Bowman Hobby. Full case PY.